What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Sage. In the last episode, you guys, we had we had cleared Route 5 and the abandoned observatory area, completely missing the fact that we forgot, like, the story objective item in the saloon, which caused us to have to go back and redo that all again. But during the process, we found actually another team member who i figured why not he's cool i want him we're gonna stick to it and now we're here on route 7 where we are just making our way seeing what happens next so if you guys are hyped and excited for today's episode like comment subscribe and hit the bell and as always let's do a team recap because up first we got floor Bri, our starter level 23 with mega drain air cutter hidden power and grass whistle up next, we got Minorak, level 25, with Bug Bite, Bulldoze, Scratch, and Rock Tomb, who we taught Rock Tomb, because we got a TM for it. Up next, we got Capybara, one of my favorite mons right now on the team, with Hyper Fang, Rollout, Bite, and Yawn. And then the second newest member to our team recently, Coltergeist, level 15, with Nightshade, Pursuit, Rock Smash, and Confuse Ray. And last but not least, the actual newest member to our team, Shella Knight, level 15, with Confusion, Rapid Spin, Curse, and Withdraw. <clears throat> and then we have this Pokemon called Doppel, who's not on our team, but I, I thought it was an interesting looking Pokemon, so I figured he'd have like a gimmick or a mechanic, and he has Feisty, which if your opponent's level is higher than yours, your attack stat instantly raises. Kinda, kinda pointless, but you know, at least, at least, at least they're trying. Because again, I think I mentioned it before, but like, if you're com playing competitive, right, in this for whatever reason, you're gonna usually be the same level as your opponent, unless you purposely make your your double. Excuse me, a level lower. But, I, I don't know. What I do know is we found an X special defense. Pomperunts are here. That's right, and there are potters here too, I forgot. Where are we going? Oh my god, we're not going this way. We're gonna go back because there's more over here. Like this, like this guy. I don't, I don't know what his problem is. A villain appears out of nowhere. Who will be able to put an end to their reign of terror? Let me guess. Otterman. Pokekid Matias. Matias? With, you guessed it, a potter. It didn't get dropped, dude. Hmm. That's fine. We'll hit in power. Good thing you're not a real super villain. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sure. You must be a sidekick. You did not just call me a fucking sidekick, bro. I will turn you over like the bitch you are. Ooh, there's more peppets. Hello, Peppet. And then that's the way back. Okay. I need to hurry up and buy... Bro, there's Potters. There's Potters, and I don't know if I want one. Dude, it's gotta be between Potter or Cuppy. Like, do I want the Water Dog, or do I want the Tea Kettle Fish? I think either way, they're gonna evolve into something crazy. Because, look, I'll be real. Cuppy being a tea kettle fish, I feel like it's gonna either... That one has an Ultra Ball hat. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, it's either gonna be, like... Cuppy's gonna evolve into a water fire type. Or something. Either water fire or, like, water steel. 
and then the water dog, I feel like would be... Ooh, I don't know. Maybe either, like, water... Water fighting? Because the superhero kid had him? Or, uh... I can even see water electric, to be completely honest. Oh? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, you have a Gromeo. Wow. Who dodged it? Oh my god, Gromeo did. Cringe. Oh my god, and we missed. This is even more cringe. No! Come on, Flora, for you, you one-shot both of them. I know you do. I believe in you. You didn't one-shot either. Well, you one-shot one. You know what? It's okay. Because you grew to 24 and you're learning Leaf Tornado. Now, do I want that over Mega Drain? With 90 base power, sure. <laughs> it's got more strength, so we'll do it. Why not? We may lose, but we lose together. Oh, shut up. I can't believe they want us to chop down all these trees. Well, you're a lumberjack, right? You're supposed to do that. Hey, Frank. That is, that is a very, like, lumberjack-esque name, Frank. Frank the Lumberjack. Oh. Goodbye, Frank. If we see... I was gonna say, if we see a Potter, I'll catch Potter. If we see a Potter, I'll catch a Potter, but I won't add him to the team yet. Because I want to at least get a Cuppy. I want to get a Cuppy, and I want to get... Oh my god. I got jabated again. <gasps> it's got a Pokeball, or a, a Great Ball hat. Because if I do, when I finally get Cuppy and Potter, then I can, f I feel like I could finally make the decision. If not, I'll just roll a dice. What's going on over here? Excuse me. Without this crane, getting heavy wooden beams to the top floors would be a lot more difficult. Hey there. Oh. We're about to hit dr 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 What is this called? Dronia City. I've traveled all over the region, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's to always have a wide variety of Pokemon to help you overcome obstacles. You know what? Preach. Another reason why I like to have multiple types of Pokemon. So you can always have, like, the perfect... Necessary counter, I guess. Um, I mean, reality, I also think it's best case to have dual-type Pokemon. So then you can cover even more ground. Oh, it's Sequoia. What's good? I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be here doing some field research, but I'd rather just go sightseeing. What? We got a Pokemon egg? All you gotta do is walk around and hatch until it's a beautiful bundle of responsibility. I owe you a million. I'm sure you'll make a great mama. I'm gonna check the local sites. Wait, what? She just gave us an egg and left. Interesting. Even have a helipad. Cool. Inter Dude, that's cool. I kind of want to just run around until it hatches. Now, if only this tr tr construction were quieter. What's upstairs? Oh, it's the helipad. But why would this... Okay, I don't know why this would be here, though. Hmm. That's fine. 
We're not here to do anything fancy just yet anyways. So for now, we're just going to take a look. Young trainer, are you the type of Pokemon who likes giving your Pokemon nicknames? My husband, the name raider, lives right up the street. So I do like to nickname Pokemon. Um, but only when it's not my first playthrough. Our boss is truly amazing. Mm. Welcome to Mina Corp. Mina Corp? Mina Corp? Hello. What floor do we want? Two? Going up. Thank you. I'm sure there's gotta be trainers and shit in here, right? There's so much business just to make product. Or at least we'll get something cool, maybe? Hey, I need a new floor. Floor three. Oh, whoops. Hello. Oh my god. Hi, in future versions, I will handle the Apricorn crafting system. Hope you're having fun. Bro, highly doubt you're watching this video, but if you are, this game is great. Super good game, bro. Crazy unique Pokemon. Uh, good story so far. I mean, even though, like, nothing crazy's happened quite yet, but... You cannot visit the CEO without making an appointment. Shut up. Excuse me. Okay. You got me. You cannot visit the... Shut up. Okay, well... We're going down. Uh... I mean, I assume there's a gym here too, right? Name Raider's house. I saw this Pokeball earlier. Ooh... A revive. Please tell me there's more than just him. Ugh, okay. Um, well, what else is here to the town? There's gotta be something cool. I got my pal Cub Zero here through a trade with a friend. It grows really fast. rise of the elevator has really to turned that right on its head i i don't know how i couldn't read that but i couldn't the ins and outs of being pokemon trainers oh yeah no you're right poison is immune to steel i want you to know you fucking degenerate don't even know your type your la 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 sure Echo to voice, wow. That's pretty cool. Shit, I meant to hit the fucking ground floor. I mean, so far there's nothing crazy to the town besides the egg. Which I'll probably, I don't know, depending on how long it takes to check out the rest of the city. Maybe, uh... That's strange. You see, I work for the Pokemon. If you wanted something that's free, just leave them be, bro. Uh, everyone's here at the museum for some reason. What part are you excited for most? Yes. Was I? I feel like I was saying something about the egg. I was gonna say that depending on how long this uh, episode takes, uh, I'll just start the next episode with us hatching the egg, because why not? Yeah, we already checked that. That look, yes. You're undeniably a trainer. Tell me, which of these types is your favorite? Well, I'll say grass. I thought it was going to give us, like, an item that boosted our grass-type powers, but... 
That's fine. My Potter's Pickup ability is super cool. Sometimes I get really rare stuff. We'll tell your fucking Potter to move out of my way. <laughs> uh, I tried to take on the gym, but I got thrashed. My Ice type stood no chance against Steel type Pokemon. Steel type Pokemon? Do we have. Oh, we have Minorak. Fuck. We only have Minorak. The factories here used to be steel. Used to be, yep. The scrapyard south of here is well full of scrap. So she's got. Apparently, this is a steel type gym. That slightly scares me. Did I order two by mistake? A metronome? What does that do? Increases the base power of a move if used in succession. Yo, if we taught one of our Pokemon Echoed Voice and gave it the metronome, that'd be huge. That'd actually be a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Hey, kid, out of my way, my Pomperant. He has the... Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, This is actually a big-ass town, though. Do you pay close attention to your abilities of your Pokemon? Yeah, I do, actually. I'm just so used to it. Do do do. Pokemon have natures, but ju just like you and me. But did you know they have different attributes that can be boosted or weakened? Yes, like our timid natured Shellanite. Here to the business. Oh shit, here's the gym. We're not hitting that up yet. There's a guy over there. Hello. I'm normally working in the factory. Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting the chills, hmm? No, I'm not afraid of the sea. From the cold breeze, sure, buddy. Alright, let's talk to this bastard. Hmm? What are you looking at me for? Ooh, we got thief, bro? Now get out of here. No, you get out of here. <laughs> Anything else around here? Locked. And then there's whatever this is. What is this place? Oh, the train station. The trains aren't running yet, and my little brother is driving me loco. Anyone to talk to? Hey. Ah, uh, young. Uh, as, a, as a young lass. <laughs> e -b -b. Anything in the garbage? Give me something. I want your garbage. I want all of it. Okay, well. So the egg didn't hatch in this episode. Makes me really sad to see. But. But in the next episode, you guys. We'll probably be taking on the gym. And I am really scared. <laughs> because. Gee, I don't know. One. Two. Three. Half our team doesn't do any damage against steel types. How's the egg looking? Doesn't seem close to hatching. That's fine. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're always notified when I upload. Tell your friends, tell your family about me, and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.